absolutely. <laughs> there, there is there is no doubt. So uh, I think that the future of news media depends quite a lot on on um, the way they deal with the threats and um, the opportunities that exist today. So this will shape the future of news media. Um, the biggest threat that I see now, and this is um, not only a threat for news media, but a threat to science and a threat to um, uh, democratic societies, it is the problem of fake news. Um, and this problem is huge, and I think it will be even bigger in the future because there are organizations and governments that um, will try to uh, keeping on manipulating facts, you know? So, and, and the technological development will make the manipulation even easier and it will get more and more difficult to discern fakes from facts. And we see this happening not only on in countries like uh, Russia, uh, Turkey or China, but also in Western societies like uh, USA or even Hungary in Europe. So I think this, this is a big threat. Another threat that, that I see is uh, when, when media organizations fail to monetize themselves, um, they will um, be uh, easier to manipulate by um, organization that give them subsidies. So they will not uh, have the neutrality in reporting. But I do see a lot of opportunities. And uh, um, actually, I, I, I'm a big believer in quality journalism and uh, in trusted sources. And uh, um, I believe that publishers really have to get the direct contact to their audiences like they had it before and not focus on focus on 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 google or facebook because these are not their audiences on on facebook or google so this is like working like like building your house on a rented ground yeah so um i think they should go with their own competence and i think they should invest in in um good technologies. I'm a big believer in an intelligent use of artificial intelligence and new technologies so that the, the people in the news media organization can um, concentrate on their core competence. And this is quality news for a democratic society.